In 1831, four powerful navies raced off to claim a new section of strategically important land. A new island had just appeared off the southern coast of Italy, measuring 4,800 meters wide and 63 meters in height. After this volcano stopped erupting, the nations of France, Britain, Spain, and Italy all planted flags and claimed the new island named Ferdinandia for their respective countries. Over the next several months, a lengthy political battle was fought to decide who truly owned the island. So, who won? The answer is that no one did, as a mere six months later, the island had completely vanished. What had just occurred was at the time only the latest of several island-forming volcanic eruptions from the same volcano known as Campi Flegrei del Mar de Sicilia. Dating back to the First Punic War, when Rome was fighting Carthage, eruptions from this volcano have been directly observed by warring parties, which frequently formed an island, then later disappeared. Today, the highest point of this volcano lies a mere 8 meters or 26 feet below sea level. It experienced seismic unrest in 2002, meaning that it may only be a matter of time before another new volcanic island is created. This video will discuss this unique volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The site of the aforementioned Campi Flegre del Mar de Sicilia eruption can be found midway between the town of Ribera on Sicily and the island of Pantelleria. It is not a single volcano, but rather a group of 10 shallow submarine volcanoes spread across an area of 6,500 square kilometers. The exact reason why this volcanic field exists is unknown, but appears to be related to a combination of the nearby tectonic plate boundary and ongoing ocean rifting in this section of the Mediterranean Sea. This volcanic field began forming around 95,000 years ago when a volume of basaltic magma erupted onto the ocean floor. It erupted from a north-northwest trending fissure, thus outputting lava along a line of activity. Eventually, the lava solidified into a single vent, thus beginning to construct a large submarine volcanic cone. Due to the volcano's shallow depth, occasional explosive eruptions caused disturbances on the surface. Over the span of a few months, a several hundred meter tall volcanic cone was constructed. Although the sea level was lower at the time since the Ice Age was ongoing, this individual vent never reached the surface. Similar eruptions occurred over the next 85,000 years, some of which may have temporarily broken the surface of the lower sea level. Within the last 10,000 years, eruptions have only originated from two vents, Ferdinandia and Penae. The first witnessed eruption occurred in 253 BC when a group of Roman warships noticed a violent disturbance in the water and thought it to be a warning sign of the gods. The next witnessed eruption did not occur until 1632 when a plume of smoke rose out of a patch of ocean from the Ferdinandia vent. Another eruption in 1701 from the same vent created a small volcanic island which was quickly washed away as it was primarily constructed out of weak ash. Then, on June 28, 1831, after a series of earthquakes, a magnificent fountain of lava rose out of the ocean. As Strombolian-style explosive activity continued, more vents opened. This created a distant orange glow which was seen from the Italian mainland. Over the course of this 44-day long eruption, occasional pumice washed up from this volcano on the coastline. Finally, the eruption ended, creating an approximately 5-kilometer wide island with two central peaks. The new island had a dark black color as it was constructed out of both basaltic lava and ash. However, over the next several weeks, large parts of the island quickly disappeared as it was eroded quickly by wind and water. This withering away of the island continued until December 17th, by which point the entire island had disappeared. Since then, three more eruptions have occurred, one of which in 1867 constructed a much smaller temporary island which was also washed away. The most recent eruption occurred in 1911, although this completely took place underneath the water. Due to the small scope of eruptions from these volcanoes, it doesn't pose much of a hazard to nearby areas. With this being said, a future submarine eruption could make a section of the Mediterranean temporarily inaccessible to ships within a 5 km radius of the erupting vent. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.